Hello and welcome to Simple Cryptocurrency Reviews presented by your host Cryptos Chain. And in today's review video, we're going to be looking at a project called Bolt. And this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. However, I am going to be doing a giveaway out of my own Bolt tokens. And I'm going to be announcing the giveaway requirements in this video. And I'm not going to say when in the video so that you could watch the whole video to find out the information you need or what you need to do to be taking part in this giveaway. Now let's get right in and talk about Bolt and how we're actually going to review it as if we're a brand new investor or a brand new person to cryptocurrencies and we didn't understand what it's all about and wanted to see if it's a legit project, if we think it's a good project with a potential future and what it's all about, right? So on CoinMarketCap, it is ranked in the 568th position, so it is quite low, right? And simply because the, the market cap of this project is only 2 million, right? So $2 million is not a lot when it comes to cryptocurrencies, only 206 uh, Bitcoin in total. Now the total supply is 995 million and the circulating supply is 406 million, so almost half is in circulation. Now if we look on social media, they're actually quite active, so they've been retweeting a lot of tweets here, as we can see. Uh, people are really happy with the project, really hyping it, you know, things like that. So we can see all that. Now, they have, there has been an AMA as well. Okay, so there have been uh, questions being answered by a lot of the community members and things like that. So that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, just information about the project in general. So yeah, we can see that this project is definitely very active. So this is one of the signs uh, of an active project when you're when it comes to cryptocurrencies in general, when you want to look at it and you want to review a project to see what it's all about, then you want to see where it's actually trading. So you go to the market section and here we can see that the most volume is on BitMax. Okay, 698,000 and Hotbit as well, Binance Dex and Qcoin. Okay, do ignore Switchio, by the way, because uh, Switchio's Bolt token is actually the Ethereum blockchain version, right? So Switch, so actually Bolt have actually migrated from Ethereum to the Binance chain, okay, the Binance blockchain. So they are a native token on the Binance blockchain, hence why they're trading on the Binance DEX. That's where you can also trade it. Uh, Bitmax, of course, has the uh, Binance Chain version, Qcoin 2 and so on. And you can actually tell that if you go on these specific exchanges and you go to the withdraw section, for example, or even to the deposit section, it'll ask you for the deposit address. Or um, when it asks you for that deposit address, it does tell you that you need a memo as well. So only Binance Chain requires a memo. However, if you want to withdraw to your wallet, your Binance wallet, you don't really need the memo as far as I'm aware. At least personally, I didn't need a memo on that only the Binance address. So do pay close attention to what you're doing, where you're withdrawing to, because you may need a memo as well as the address if you want to withdraw these kind of tokens. Um, right, so that's pretty much it. This is where it's trading. Now, just something to keep in mind, they are uh, going through an audit at the moment by a third party company. So uh, the actual withdrawals on some of these exchanges are suspended. So on BitMAX, for example, you cannot deposit nor withdraw. At the moment, uh, on Hotbit, I'm not sure. And on Qcoin, I know that you can withdraw, but you cannot deposit. So just something to keep in mind at the time of doing this video. Of course, this may change in the next coming days after the audit. Uh, and let's actually go to their website. So when you go to the website section here, it actually takes you right there. I've already opened it. So this is how it looks. The About Us section, you've got the bull token information, the contact information and the white paper and also the language that you can switch in between, which is English and Chinese. So this is what you want to see on a website, right? Time to decentralize. We're building an ecosystem of users, partners and content creators, bringing best in class digital services to emerging markets. So this is what they're all about. And the manifesto is that the Bolt Plus app is built for people from all walks of life by a team of people from all walks of life. What's clear, the Bolt team understands people. Now, so it's a global content marketplace, which requires a global team. So basically, they've got 30 people across four offices working for them. So they've got an office in London, in France, in Nairobi, Brazil, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Philippines, Australia, Indonesia. So quite a lot of places. And here we can see the team as well. So we've got the chief executive officer, Jamal Hasim. We've got Crystal Quek, who's actually very active on their Telegram page. So do check that out. Uh, links will be in the description. 
uh, Lynn Morales, head of operations, head of partnerships, and so on. So quite a lot of people working in from different cultures as well as we can see here. This is very good. Um, the board of directors, of course, are these three people, Jamal, Crystal, and Dato. Uh, now they are being advised by Switchio. Okay, they've got some members from Switchio and of course other companies as well. Lightbulb, Lightbulb, I'm not sure who they are, Bitsonic. Uh, a person from Facebook as well. Actually, he's a former aerospace program manager from Facebook. Uh, Co-founder, CEO, Switchio uh, Network. Okay, Ivan Poon. So he's one of the advisors as well. And Jack Yu, who I've actually been interviewing on my channel quite a few times from Switchio. He's also an advisor. And one of the interesting things about Crystal is if you search for her on YouTube because you want to do as much research as possible on a project, uh, is you will find a video on YouTube which is quite old from quite a few years ago before she even discussed Bolt, before she was even involved in Bolt. And if we go to her page here, you can see the LinkedIn page and the Twitter page. So if you go to LinkedIn, it'll show you something interesting. So she's actually been an advisor for Switcho, or she still is an advisor for Switcho since March 2018. She's also an advisor for Zilliqa, okay? They do have a partnership with Zilliqa. Uh, and also, if we look down here, she was head of content for two years at Twitter, right? So she's got a lot of social media experience and also for Samsung Asia. So a lot of social media experience, which is very important when you're looking into these sort of projects to see what they're all about. And let's go back here. Okay, so how it works. So Bolt allows users to rely on a trustless network to administer payments. So by trustless network, they're referring to the blockchain. Uh, resulting in an entertainment network that sustains itself. So you can receive credits. So first time users receiving complimentary tokens and subsequently can top up tokens. Creators and users, users can also mutually unlock value by participating equally in the ecosystem. So if you scroll further down, it tells you here that the Bolt wallet provides a wallet for users to receive, trade, store and manage their Bolt credits, as well as Bitcoin, Ethereum and Zilliqa, which can be used by the Bolt ecosystem. Right, so all, all of these coins are supported by the Bolt wallet. Now let's go down. So we've got the closed system. So Bolt users trade tokens with other users and content providers in exchange for content and other services. And we'll actually look at the white paper in a moment. And I want to point out some specific points in the white paper because I don't want to go through the whole white paper. It's too long, too much to read. I want to focus on some really important aspects, which I think you'll find interesting, especially if you're new to Bolt and you've never heard about them. Now solving an inherent problem, we aim to solve three main problems of emerging markets on the way to digital content. Streaming cost and speed requirements are significantly lower with the Bolt solution. And services can be bought directly from the mobile phone with no need to have access to a bank account. So no credit cards, paywalls, data packages, no credit cards and low bandwidth. And the Bolt token goes to the user. So that's what it's all about, the token applications. Okay, so Bolt has an immersive user experience starting with video but we intended to expand into audio and use that as enablers for verticals such as health, education, and even microfinance. We wanna connect users all around the world to content and conversations that will matter and help share their day for the better. Now, as we can see down at the bottom, they've got a Facebook page, an Instagram page, Twitter, Medium, Telegram, and LinkedIn. You can get in touch with them, this and that, so that's good. They've got all the information basically that you need here. And then in the white paper section, the part that I wanted to cover here, the bold tokens, right? What are they actually used for? But before we actually get into it, let's have a quick look at one other thing because I almost forgot about that. So let's go to bold. So here you can download the app. Okay, you can download it here if you're interested. Let's go back actually, because I don't want to do that. Let's close this. So there is an app, okay? There is an app that you can download in order to watch content, right? So this is the whole point. They've got the iOS version and the Android version, and this is how it looks here. Okay, you can watch the Cricket World Cup, for example things like that, sports and all these different things on the mobile app. So quite similar to YouTube in a way, right? Only it's on Bolt. Uh, and it's called the Bolt Plus app and I'm just trying to open it here. So what's trending now? These are all the information in here. If you go to the watch now section. Okay, so this opens live.bolt.global. 
this is another website and here you can see all the different contents that you can access on bolt plus uh, this is what it's called here as we can see on the top left hand corner the sports section the football section the cricket section korea which are just news from korea and the profile section which i'm not sure what this is all about they've got a food section as well so quite a lot of content quite a lot of videos on here they've also got a live section if you click on this so there is a lot of content maybe not so much content they are quite limited as we can see here but there still is a lot of content and maybe you can get more and maybe they're working to introduce more content this is what we're hoping to see them do uh, in the near future but let's go and look here at the white paper because i actually wanted to talk about the utility of the token so why do they even need the bold token so it's actually used for completing tasks right on the bolt ecosystem so for example subtitling micro tasks uh, for example the education starter pack ecosystem the bolt ecosystem will fundamentally be a suite of decentralized services powered by zilliqa okay so this is how you can pay people okay in bolt in this ecosystem now there is secure access between content providers and consumers and of course no bank accounts are needed to join because bolt tokens are used right and they're also capped at 1 billion and what's interestingly enough here is that they're mentioning 1 billion but on coin market cap is 995 million so i think that they have actually burned some at the token sale event uh, so it's probably really only 995 million but this white paper must have been written sometime before the token sale right so uh, bolt can be accessed in multiple ways and there will be fiat and token payment options however there will be discounts available to users who choose to pay using the bolt token versus fiat okay so this is the important part here because you may be asking yourself okay sure i can watch sports on the app and i can use fiat why do i need the bolt token well this is it here it's actually for discounts this is the real reason this is the utility of it so it is a utility token okay this tells us pretty much so yeah, this allows us to reward bold token holders with premium content such as cricket content from the International Cricket Council or micro data bundle boosters, 10 megabytes and upwards, which are available for bold token holders. Access to high velocity moment events on a mass scale such as Cricket World Cup, uh, which would have an estimated audience interest size of 2.5 billion people. So that's why it's very, very important. So yeah i think a lot of people actually use the app already because they have mentioned on their twitter page many on many occasions that a lot of people have downloaded the bolt app so a lot of users use it but i'm not sure how many people actually use the bolt token maybe not so many maybe they're using the fiat gateway i'm not entirely sure uh, but this is how it is and this is basically bold do check out the white paper if you want to see more and if you want to read more about them uh, and one other thing that's coming with Bolt actually is the proof of stake. So there's going to be a way to stake Bolt tokens, okay, to be able to generate some sort of income. So that's going to come out more details on that soon. But there is a Medium page, so do follow them on that and also on their Twitter page. Again, links will be below, probably in a comment or in the description. I'll have to decide where. Do check both. And uh, this is pretty much what it's all about. This is what Bolt is all about. Let me know what you think in a comment below. But before I end the video, I just want to tell you that I'm going to do a giveaway to five lucky people. The giveaway will be of a total of 5,000 Bolt tokens. That's 1,000 Bolt tokens to each lucky person for five different people, okay? What do you need to do? You need to subscribe to my channel. You need to join my Telegram community page. And you need to like this video. That's all you need to do, nothing more. Okay, once you do that then you've qualified so do check out again when you need when you when you go to my telegram page make sure to leave some sort of comment there say hello say something so that i know you've entered okay this is how i know you will qualify because i want to see that you're a real person and you're not a bot right trying to take advantage or with multiple accounts etc etc there are people trying to do things like that scammy stuff i want to make sure that i filter all these people out and i want to give do this giveaway to legit viewers uh, on my youtube channel so that's that about Bolt. Again, let me know what you think. What's your opinion of it? My opinion is if, if they can manage to attract a lot of people onto their platform using the app to watch sports, to upload content and things like that, they may do well. People may eventually adopt Bolt, but who knows how difficult it may actually be 
to bring all this mass adoption because right now the crypto space is not at its best i know bitcoin has been doing pretty well but let's see let's see how things move on in this crypto space how people are coming to the space uh, and we'll we'll see mass adoption of old coins and all these different projects which are working really really hard to do something for the better good thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day see you in my next video bye bye